This video is sponsored by Box Lunch. For every view of the 12 Days of Giving videos from December 1st to December 12th, 2020, Box Lunch will donate one meal to Feeding America up to a max of $100,000. 10 cents helps provide at least one meal secured by Feeding America on behalf of local member food banks, which is very helpful, particularly in 2020. It's been reported that over 54 million people will have to fight hunger in 2020 alone. And when you think about all the students and kids that get free meals from schools, that have been closed or some people even get free meals from their job that have been shut down or people having to get more food from food banks or different ways because of unemployment. So by watching this video, you're donating a meal to Feeding America because every view to this video gets up to December 12th will also be a free meal donated to Feeding America through Box Lunch. So one view equals one meal. The more views we get, the more meals we put out there to give more meals out to Feeding America. Thank you. Happy holidays, I'm Andre, and earlier I already did a Black Friday haul, but you can't do Black Friday without doing Cyber Monday, which in 2020 is pretty much one and the same for me. I did all my shopping at home online. But this Cyber Monday haul is also a kind of Giving Tuesday as well because I'm partnering up with Box Lunch. Box Lunch is this amazing store that sells a bunch of pop culture items. I'm talking apparel, t-shirts, lounge pants, masks, Funko Pops, home decor, cookware, all labeled with your favorite characters from DC, Marvel, Disney, Looney Tunes, Nintendo, anime, Star Wars, Mandalorian, that little baby everywhere. You know what I'm talking about. They got all that stuff there. I've worked with Box Lunch before. What's really awesome about them is that for every $10 that you spend at Box Lunch, they donate a meal to Feeding America, being able to do some Christmas shopping while at the same time being able to give back to a cause like Feeding America through Box Lunch is really awesome. For every $10, they give a free meal. Even getting these items I'm about to show you right now, this haul helped for a good cause. Um, I think when I look at the grand total, we gave a lot of meals out with this haul alone, so let's do it. They got a lot of shirts and they got lounge pants. I know lounge pants are very popular in 2020 especially. So I got what I like to call the December 25th streaming service movie <laughs> ensemble. So I'm wearing a Wonder Woman shirt to get ready for Wonder Woman 1984 coming to HBO Max uh, December 25th. But then my pants, uh, I am wearing <laughs> Soul lounge pants <laughs> because I'm getting ready for Soul coming out on Disney Plus. December 25th. So with this combination of shirt and pants, I'm ready to watch big budget movies that were supposed to be in theaters now coming to streaming services. I am ready. Got a bunch of t-shirts, Super Mario. I love this one, it's X-Men, but it's like 90s X-Men. X-Men. My first ever Phineas and Ferb shirt. Crash Bandicoot, that Crash Bandicoot 4. Gameplay, now I can wear a shirt with it. Just like my country, I'm young, scrappy, and hungry, and I'm not throwing away my shot. Uh, did you see the Hamilton uh, that they put on, on, the, on the plus? That was really cool. And then this shirt just, I had to get this. I mean, Looney Tunes are back, y'all. Look at this shirt. It's Looney Tunes and Cake Worthy is the name of the company that made this one, but they sell it at Box Lunch. But yeah, man, it's Looney Tunes all over this shirt. The Looney Tunes apparel is coming back. I can't wait for the hopeful return of wearing t-shirts with Looney Tunes dressed in hip hop clothes and backwards pants, crisscross style. Are we gonna bring that style back? I hope so. They also have these jerseys, which I thought were really cool. They're like Disney jerseys. So here's Hercules. So it says fly Pegasus on the front. And then on the back, you got Hercules. He puts the Gladden Gladiator. I just thought that was really cool. And then I love this one. It's Aladdin as a jersey. So on the front, on the front it says Agrabah Airways. And then on the back, it has Aladdin, and then 92, the year that Aladdin came out. So that is very cool. I like this shirt a lot. I think I'm gonna actually put this shirt on right now. Turn around. What do you think? This looks really cool, doesn't it? Oh, I forgot my hat. How do I look, huh? Does it look like a guy that would play a sport or find a lamp or use the lamp to teach him how to play sports as one of his wishes? <laughs> that sounds like me. As I showed earlier with my soul pants, lots of other lounge pants. Again, 90s X-Men. I guess now that, uh, you know, the mouse got them X-Men back full on, they're just like, let's make some clothes. So here's some X-Men lounge pants. Animal Crossing, the game of the year. Got some lounge pants into that. Got some uh, Tom Nook and some KK Slider up on there. Everyone's been loving The Office. I keep watching like Office clips <laughs> online and I guess they're gonna be leaving Netflix to go to Peacock. 
But in the meantime, I can wear my Dunder Mifflin pants. And I thought these were adorable. These are uh, Marvel sweatpants. It's Marvel superheroes as gingerbread cookies. There's Captain America, there's Spider-Man, Iron Man, Black Panther, Black Widow. So they're on the side there. I just thought that was adorable. And of course, it's not holiday apparel without those ugly sweaters. You know what I'm talking about, those ugly holiday sweaters. So Box Lunch has a bunch of those too. They got one with Cheetos, they got one with Taco Bell, a lot of Disney ones. And this one I thought was amazing. It's a Goof Troop one. So it has Goofy and Max on the front with the Goof Troop logo. And then on the back, you get Max and PJ. Report to the Goof Troop. So I thought that was really adorable. Unfortunately, um, Andre has definitely uh, gained some quarantine weight. So it did not fit the way I wanted it to, but I think it's very beautiful. <laughs> but for your slender body, it's perfect. Get it. By the way, I order all this stuff online through the boxlunch.com website, but they have a number of safe ways that you can shop. In addition to the website, you can also do curbside pickup. Some of their stores are open, but they're definitely following all the proper guidelines to keep you safe during this pandemic. They even have this reservation set up where you can actually make an appointment to have your own shopping time at the store, which I think is really cool. So there's a lot of different options that you can use in order to get stuff from Box Lunch while still staying safe during this whole thing. And then when you go shopping and you wanna put all your credit cards into something, why not put it in to a Nintendo wallet? So this is like one of those, you know, card only wallets. You know, you put your cards in there and then you put your uh, license and or identification in there but it has like the classic Nintendo controller on it. So I just thought that was really neat. And then when you decide you wanna go home and play games like Monopoly, you can get the Simpsons Monopoly. I have a number of different Monopoly. So when I saw they had a Simpsons Monopoly, I was like, add to the collection. I love items that look like um, VHS tapes. <laughs> so, so these are socks, but the reason why I got them, because of the box that they came in. Look at this box. It looks like a VHS tape. See, it even pulls out like a videotape. Oh, that's so cool. That's awesome. But then you open up the videotape and it's actually socks. Two pairs of Mickey Mouse socks. Nice. But I just love it. It looks like it came inside of a video cassette. I just love that. I love that kind of retro stuff. You know me. I got this Star Wars stationery. It's got the classic Star Wars poster on it and it totally looks like a Star Wars VHS tape. Look at this front there. I love that. It looks like an old school Star Wars tape. <laughs> really cool. It even comes with these Star Wars VHS tape sticky notes that you can use. So that's really awesome. Look at that back. I love that, man. It looks just like an old VHS tape. It almost makes you wish it was the original cut of the movie in here. <laughs> Is it in here? <laughs> Will it ever be anywhere? Mouse? Just saying, you got them all now, so if you wanna put out the theatrical cut as I drop my sticky notes, I'm just saying, think about it. So everyone's loving that Mandalorian. ba ba dum ba ba dum bum bum ba ba dum ba ba da ba dum So I saw this on Box Lunch's website. It's really cool, and it says uh, 2502 of 3,000, so I'm guessing there's only 3,000 of these. It's a Mandalorian bust. One six scale bus. It looks really nice. They also have one of the child. He's sipping the tea. If you want to check that one out too. But I was like, I want a cool Mando thing. You know, Mando's a cool character. I want something with him on it. All right, let's take him out here. Oh, this looks so cool. I love bust and designs like this. I just always think they look really good. They're pa usually painted very well. They usually have nice things going on with them. Look at that cape. Like that is just amazing. Like this, this is freaking cool, dude. This is so cool. He's got his blaster. He's got the, the heat coming out of his wrist there. Uh, of course, he has his helmet on because you know, Mandalorian doesn't take off his helmet. This is the way. This is the nice. <laughs> this, is, this is really nice. Wow, I am very impressed by this. This was a good choice. I'm very happy with my choice here. This is gonna look good on the shelf. Holiday season, you gotta of course get some holiday ornaments. So I got a Christmas tree ornament of the Little Mermaid. Ariel, listen to me. The Christmas tree, it is a mess. Spider-Man, I love that they... Take two. Spider-Man, I love that they have him hanging upside down. So when you hang him on the tree, he'll be upside down. That's really good detail. Winnie the Pooh and Eeyore double set there. It's a three piece set of 
Pokeballs as Christmas tree ornaments. So good, good stuff. And stay tuned, I got some Pokemon stuff that's pretty insane coming up. I have lately gotten really into fake plants. I don't know what it is about these like faux trees or faux decoration uh, plants that you can put around, but it's like you get that plant feeling, but without, you know, the actual taking care of plants, which then they die, because that's what happens when I try to take care of plants. Winnie the Pooh's honey pot. <laughs> Wasn't expecting that. I mean, you could just use a regular plant in a regular pot, but why not have one? with Winnie the Pooh's honey pot going on. Look at that, that's cute. I love this, that's gonna look nice. It's one of those things where you're like, oh, that's really cute. Wait a minute, honey, I know what that's from. I like that kind of stuff, that like subtle geekery. Also got this Toy Story one, it's the, uh, the Luxo ball, you know, the Pixar ball, but it's a lamp, see, boop. Ah, oh, that's so cool, it's a lamp, but it's the, the Pixar ball, Luxo ball, it's nice, sweet. Jurassic Park, there's a Jurassic Park mini planter so it looks like the gate of jurassic park but there's like a little plant on the back of it well better a plant than a dinosaur right so that that's really cool i love that welcome to jurassic plant if you're a fan of the avengers you saw that in game i don't know if this will make you happy or make you cry <laughs> but it's the iron man gauntlet and it's got a little, 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 little plant inside there. But look at that. That's freaking awesome. I am Iron Plant. <laughs> I plant you 3,000. <laughs> Everyone's a tree. So there you go. You can have some plants around your home, but still geek out with them. That's neat. But what if you want to geek out your kitchen? Well, uh, Spider-Man. Spider-Man, Spider-Man. Next to my pots and pans. Cook out. <laughs> now with the Spider-Man. So anything you need to slow cook, but it's Spider-Man's head. That is awesome. My pots and pans are about the same color, so it's gonna actually match. But yeah, I, I can cook with Spider-Man now. You know, for those, you know, two times I cook a year. Thanks. <laughs> Home fast food delivery, I'm a terrible person. This is why I can't put on the Goof Troop sweater. But of course, it would not be shopping at Box Lunch without picking up some Funko Pops. They get a lot of Funko Pops, including some Box Lunch exclusive Funko Pops. So let me show you the pops I got. Special Scooby-Doo art series. He's painted like the Mystery Machine. It's part of their Do Good program, which I actually did some stuff with them in the past. A team up with Scooby-Doo to help with uh, Feeding America. When you buy this pop, they actually donate a dollar fifty to the Feeding America COVID-19 response fund. So that's really cool. They're doing that between now and January of 2021. So in addition to the every ten dollars helping to give a meal by buying this specific pop, you're giving a dollar fifty to their COVID-19 relief fund. So that's really cool. Plus, it's Scooby-Doo paint it like the Mystery Machine as a Funko Pop. Is the Nightmare Before Christmas a Halloween movie? or a Christmas movie. I had to get this guy. Oogie Boogie and his wheel, which is really awesome. And it glows in the dark too. And this one is a box lunch exclusive, by the way. So only can find this one at box lunch. We've also had 90 years of Mickey Mouse. So they've been putting out a lot of Mickey Mouse Funko Pops from his various shorts. So I got the Brave Little Taylor Mickey Mouse, Beanstalk Mickey, and it's these interesting ones called Walt Disney Archives. Comes with this little base for the Walt Disney Archives, preserving the magic. So that's really cool. Got another one of those for plain crazy Mickey. Classic Mickey Mouse black and white short. And then of course, just the classic, the classic Mickey. Don't worry, Bugs, I got you. 80 years of Bugs Bunny celebration. You remember when he wore that in the cartoons? I think they're coming out with a glitter one of these. I love this, this is so cute. I love Bugs Bunny. We got Spyro, but this one's really awesome. They got like a clear base, so it looks like he's flying in the air. I thought that was really cute. Nice Spyro there. I've said it many times. I'll say it again. I'm not a brony. I'm a care bro. <laughs> a box lunch exclusive flocked cheer bear. So one of those fuzzy ones. So yeah, there we go. I got good luck flocked and I got grumpy flocked. And now I got cheer bear flocked as well. Where's my bros that love the bear? All right, care bros, care bros there. But what I'm about to show you is the biggest Funko Pop that I've ever had because I have the regular size Funko Pop. I even have the few of the 10 inch, but this one is 18 inches. 18 inches of Funko! 18 inches <laughs> of Pikachu! This is the biggest Funko Pop I have ever seen. Look at this thing, it's huge! Look, I don't play all the Pokemon games, but I did watch that cartoon from time to time, and I do pick Pika 
on Smash every now and then. This looks like it should be in the window of a game store. That's how big this is. This isn't even a purchase anymore. This is an adoption. I have adopted this Funko Pop. I can legally claim this as a dependent. What is this gigantic Pika Pig? <laughs> Pikachu! Wow! Just for scale's sake. This is Spyro. This is Pikachu. I mean, I know you guys grow big in that new Pokemon game, but goodness gracious. There you go. This is the biggest, the biggest Funko I ever had. This is my baby. This is my son. This is my son, Pikachu. Pika Pig! Pika! Do you realize purchasing this alone is 10 meals for Feeding America? But worth it. Worth it if having a giant Pikachu in my house also fed 10 people through Feeding America with 10 meals. Worth it. Happy holidays. So once again, thank you Box Lunch for, <laughs> just, I don't even know what to do with this thing. Thank you Box Lunch so much for all these wonderful items. Like I said, because we got all these items together, Box Lunch and I, uh, that helped to donate a lot of meals to Feeding America. And also because you watched this video, you just donated a meal to Feeding America by just giving this video a view. If I find any other of the 12 days of giving videos, I'll put them in the description. So if you wanna give more views out there to give out more meals, that would be really helpful. Thank you all so much. Thank you again to Box Lunch for sponsoring this video and getting the word out about this wonderful way to geek out while also helping out a good cause. Thank you all, have a great, safe holiday season, everyone. Take care of yourselves, indulge for yourself, but also remember to help out those that are less fortunate whenever you can. Thank you. Pika Pika.